In today's video, we will discuss debt to income ratio. You may already be aware that your debt to income ratio is essential in determining your creditworthiness. Simply put, it measures how much debt you have compared to your income. To calculate your DTI, divide your total monthly debt payments by your gross monthly income. A low DTI indicates that you have a manageable amount of debt relative to your income, while a high DTI suggests that you may be overextended and could struggle to repay your debts. So, what's a good DTI ratio? The answer is, it depends. Lenders typically look for a DTI ratio of 43% or lower. That means your total monthly debt payments, including your mortgage, credit card payments, and other loans, should not exceed 43% of your gross monthly income. However, keep in mind that different lenders may have different requirements. For example, some lenders may be more flexible with borrowers who have high credit scores or substantial savings. It's also worth noting that having a low DTI ratio doesn't necessarily mean that you're in good financial shape. It's possible to have a low DTI ratio and still be struggling financially. To wrap it up, a good DTI ratio is one that falls within the range that most lenders are comfortable with, but it's not the only factor that lenders consider when evaluating your creditworthiness. Make sure to manage your finances responsibly and live within your means to maintain a healthy financial profile. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or concerns about your debt to income ratio, or if you'd like to learn more about managing your finances and paying off debt, please don't hesitate to contact us at American Consumer Credit Counseling. Our team of certified credit counselors is here to help you navigate your financial challenges and achieve your goals. You can visit our website at www.consumercredit.com to learn more. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more personal finance advice.